Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. We'll break out the fluorescent golf balls. Uh, that's what they were dealing with up in Great Falls today. Nick's going to have much more on the adverse weather in the golf tournament for high school uh, AA coming up in just a few minutes. But that storm that's in Great Falls is headed this way. And here's the front right now digging into northwest Montana. And this is going to continue to drop towards the south and east. So there's a lot of moisture moving off the Pacific Northwest that's going to be feeding up into the storm. And that means more widespread snow will be developing here locally. So winter storm warnings are out from one side of the state to the other, but mostly for central and southern areas of Montana. And that includes southwest Montana. So all these numbers here are the potential for valley snow, not mountains. Mountains could pick up a foot plus. Most valleys should be in the neighborhood of three to six to four to eight inches. Wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. But that's a stiff north wind. Wind chill values tomorrow could be around zero or slightly below. There's going to be some blowing and drifting snow, some flash freezing of wet roads. It looks like a horrible commute for tomorrow morning. Travel not recommended with this winter storm that's going to be raging on after midnight into tomorrow morning. So Butte around 9, 10 o'clock tonight, you're in the thick of it. Bozeman, it may not come until after midnight, but the low that's going to be sitting here is going to be producing some intense snow banding in the overnight hours. It's going to break a little bit between Butte and Missoula in the early morning hours, but the heavier snow is going to be pushing towards the Billings area late morning. But by tomorrow afternoon, a lot of this is going to fall apart. There's still pockets of off and on snow up until about midnight tomorrow, and then the sky is clear, snow on the ground, colder air in place. We're looking at near record lows or if not record lows for Thursday and into Friday morning. But the bigger issue is the snow and that's coming tonight into tomorrow morning. Forecast models being extremely aggressive, producing moderate to heavy snow in the valleys, double if not triple that over some of the mountain ranges. So as you look outside, storm clouds are building over Butte right now, sitting at 58 degrees. And if you look towards the north, that's the leading edge of that cold front to uh, Bozeman. We're sitting at 63, high today of 68. We won't be close to that for tomorrow. And in fact, look at the temperatures now diving into the 20s up here along the front range of the Rockies, now moving into Helena. And again, this is continued to sink south. We're here in the overnight into tomorrow morning. So there could be a little bit of rain mixing with snow for the next couple of hours, but it's going to be all snow after midnight with teens and 20s accumulating snow tonight. More snow likely tomorrow and the winds fairly strong at the north at 10 to 20, maybe gusting around 30 miles per hour. And again, some blowing snow concerns and biting wind chills. A little bit of rain or snow for the next couple of hours, but after midnight, it changes over to all snow. May not catch up to West Yellowstone until tomorrow morning, but it's not going to be that warm of a day. And in fact, I think our daytime highs are going to be around midnight tonight because I expect those numbers to hold around 20 degrees through a better part of tomorrow. After tomorrow, the weather pattern slowly improves. Bitterly cold, well, not bitterly cold, but at least cold for this time of the year for Thursday and Friday. Then over the weekend, early next week, those numbers climb slowly, but still below average. We'll be in the mid 40s to the lower 50s this time next week. But look at the single digit lows setting up for Thursday and Friday morning. Moderate snow, gusty winds, gonna feel a lot like winter for Butte tomorrow. But look at the cold temperatures after the storm moves out. Down around zero Thursday morning, single digits again Friday morning. Slow improvements over the weekend into early next week. Dillon, high probability of moderate snow and quite cold tomorrow. We're expecting 20s, but single digit lows after the storm moves out. And again, it's slow transition back into the 40s and 50s next week. West Yellowstone, here it comes, but it won't catch up to you until tomorrow morning. Let's push pretty much going to snow all day tomorrow and then taper after midnight and down around zero. I wouldn't be surprised even if it slips a little below zero for lows in a Thursday and Friday morning. But again, it's slowly warming back up over the weekend. Early next week. So it looks like as of right now, we might have a good homecoming day, but the golfers are going to suffer a bit. Yeah, get the fluorescent golf balls out. I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike. Yeah, like you were saying, Nick, I mean, seeing those high school golfers out there in the snow, that was amazing. They were wiping down the green with towels as they were playing. Oh. It was an incredible scene that Mike showed. We're going to have much more coming up in sports from the final round of the state double A next.